Okay, so we've got enough. We've got enough to do what we need to do. And we needed one energetic. Okay, so that will be all the solarium that we need. We also need a piece of copper, some redstone, some gold, and some iron, of course. Always iron. Uh, I think that's enough. Let's see, a piece of copper, four gold nuggets, two redstone. Okay, so here we go. Machine casing. Machine chassis, excuse me. Machine chassis. And then we'll get our experience rod. And we'll get our experience obelisk. Excellent. These are really easy to use. And um, they can also accept pipes. So you can pipe experience in and out of it. What's a good home for this? So far, this corner is just really blank. Uh, partly because that's where my bed is and I didn't want to have machines right next to my bed. That'd be kind of stupid, right? Who would want to sleep with heavy-duty machines running right next to their bed? But I think we can stick our experience obelisk over here. It doesn't seem like something that would be loud. Doesn't seem like it. So anyway, these buttons up here let you store experience. One level, ten levels, all of it. Uh, and these let you do the same thing except you're pulling it out. And you can have it pump experience out or pull it in in any direction you want. You can have it set with redstone. So it's got a really good level of control. The basic thing we want is to store experience. So now we're at level zero. Zero levels. We have zero levels of experience. And that's a good thing. So now what we'll do is whenever we're going to um, do some smithing, we will use just the experience that we need and that way none of it goes to waste because you're you're losing massive amounts of experience if you do it the other way so it looks like we've got just enough dark steel to make a dark steel anvil which is basically a much tougher much better version of the anvil yeah, damage resistant, lasts much longer. Pretty good description. Sorry, I was swatting at a moth when I was running, so I ended up running out the door. Um, you know, an anvil is probably also not something you would normally put near your bed, but eh. <laughs> eh. It's not like it, it's not like I'm going to be using it while I'm asleep, so anyway. Um, so, that's good. That's very, very good. We've got everything we need to start using our anvil. So, what do we need? I think probably the first thing to do is to stick energy. The energy ability on all of these. The ability to store energy. And that's going to mean ugh, a vibrant crystal. Ugh, that's going to hurt. Vibrant crystal. I think that's just our emerald, right? Yeah, an emerald surrounded by... Okay, this is really not bad. I think it's probably the enticing crystal. Yeah, that needs the soul binder. There's an ender crystal, a prescient crystal, whatever that is. Prescient. So that requires another machine we don't have yet. But for now, all we need is vibrant alloy. And vibrant alloy is just energetic alloy together with an ender pearl. And you may have noticed that we have a couple of ender pearls. Just go ahead and make eleven at once. Why not? Why not? Why? And this alloy usually takes a pretty good amount of time. It's not taking very much time at all now. 
We only need one because we're going to make nuggets out of it. I'm going to grab a emerald of which we have plenty and we'll make a vibrant. Yay! Vibrant crystal. That's our first vibrant crystal. So I think all we needed was a vibrant crystal and four levels, right? And is it the same for each thing? Yes it is. Yes it is. Yes it is. So tell you what, let's go ahead and make four more of those. Uh, three more. <laughs> Five. Three, sir. Oh, yes. Three. Extra points to anybody that can figure out what that quote is from. I'll give you a hint. It's an older British comedy. And when I say comedy, I mean a completely ridiculous comedy back when those were popular. Okay, so um, we could take 16 levels right now and that would give us enough, but even even level 16 is worth way more than level 1. So the way I'll do it is I'll take exactly the number of levels I need, 4. I'll get naked, sort of. And then I'll do the enchants one at a time. Dark Helmet, you can accept power. Take four more levels. And I'll show you here in a second what I was talking about. So it's got 44 levels of experience in it, right? If I take one level out, look how little that bar went down. If I put it back in, yeah. <laughs> That's a tiny piece of level 44 all of level one, two, three, and four. See from here to here that's four levels of experience. So if we had not done this we would just be blowing through our experience and it would it would be gone in no time at all. And then we'd be stuck trying to figure out how to get more experience. So yeah, that's a tip for anybody that wants to not completely run out of experience the first time they start smithing. I think this energizer should be able to charge our stuff. Oh no. Really? The energizer can't power up my boots? Really? Really, really. Well, that's a pain. Oh. So, let's try this. Let's put on all of our equipment. Let's pick up our battery. Where did we stick our battery? Here it is. Our double battery. Now, let's see if it'll charge us this way. Wow, it's still not charging it. Oh. The actually addition stuff is, I guess it's not compatible with uh, Ender IO armor. That's a shame. So, Energizer, Charge, we don't want at Charger, do we? Charger, Wireless Charger, that would be really nice. Uh, we may just go straight to the wireless charger. The wireless charger does exactly what you think it does. Anything in range, it charges it up, including the armor that you're wearing. So, uh, it, and it'll, it should, it should charge batteries in my inventory also. So that would be quite awesome. Um, the problem is we're going to need an endurance head, and we don't have any. We have none. Yeah, that's the head that we don't have. We've got everything else. We don't have an Enderman head. So, how about... How about we do something to help that along? Um, right now we have two modifiers left. 
the World Buster, it doesn't need to do any more damage. It's totally fine the way that it is. But if we add some beheading, it'll give us an even better chance of taking heads. I also noticed that it's covering up the quartz on part of the blade, which is, eh, okay. Just as far as the appearance. I think this actually looks pretty cool, though. So, there's one more thing we might do to finish off the World Buster. And that is embossing. Let's see here. Embossing. Where are you embossing? There it is. Embossment. Take a tool part and emboss it onto the tool. It's like replacing the tool part, but better. The tool gets the traits of the part in addition to the already present one, but not the stats. So when would that be useful? Well, it's useful for adding an extra trait, right? If you just want an extra material trait, that's good. It's also good if you want to make your tool out of one material, but you really want the trait of a weaker material. So for example, I could emboss um, I could emboss the handle on my on my sword and instead of um, instead of giving it a wooden handle I, I give it a bone handle and uh, it has a better handle modifier and it'll give me the effect of the bone handle and then I could emboss a wood handle on it and it would also regenerate Here's the thing, though. Can you have more than one embossment on a tool? It seems like... It says the embossment is final and can't be changed. But does that mean once per tool part? Or once per tool? In other words, can a tool have, you know, four embossments if it has four parts? The answer is probably no. Probably no. Almost definitely no. Um, yeah. So, here's what I'm thinking. Here's, here's the point, right? I like to say, what's the point? What's the point? Well, here's the point. We can emboss the World Buster with a paper part. And that should give us an extra modifier. Let's see if we have enough paper to matter. We do have sugar cane growing in the undergarden, so we should be fine for that. Let's see. Is that a tough rod? Can we make a tough rod? 1.5. So we're going to need probably another 6 paper. And let's just go ahead and do this. Let's see if that's enough. 3. Yeah, okay. I'm wondering if it's going to change the appearance of the tool also. So anyway, um, to do that we're going to need green slime, blue slime, and magma slime, and a block of gold. Probably the hard part there is the block of gold, because the rest of it I think we can do pretty easily. Yes, I know, we've gotten off on a tangent. We were, we were talking about getting my armor and getting it charged up, and now all of a sudden we're working on my sword. But um, we're going to need those Enderman heads to be able to get very much further into that mod. So, green slimy mud is four slime, sand, and dirt. And this is probably the same, sand and dirt. Magma, slime, wait. Slimy magma mud. Can you dig that up off of the island? Slimy magma mud. Huh. That would be two magma cream, two slime balls, soul sand, and netherrack. Okay. Okay. So that one is a little bit harder to get. Do we have any? Yeah, we do. We actually have some magma cream already. Um, we'll convert that. 
and then it was soul sand and netherrack soul sand and netherrack can we convert this straight yes we can so give me some slimy magma mud please I love slimy magma mud slimy magma mud is my favorite thing okay so we're gonna need some green and some blue also and those were just sand and dirt right sand dirt convert you convert you give me one of you and one of you okay and then we smelt them and didn't we oh yeah it's an alloy mode this thing is so blazingly fast okay so let's see what we can do here before we go and put the heading on it sometimes the order that you do stuff changes how your tool looks in the end and uh, it's not that big of a deal but to me it uh, I like for my tool to look as cool as possible okay so this will emboss it and it'll give us one extra modifier I, I really can't think of a different um, material trait we would want on this. We just want it to kill in one hit. It does that. Um, and besides that, I want it to behead as well as possible. And so, what else is it going to do? So I think giving it that extra modifier is probably, probably our best bet. So now let's just max out its beheading. It's got how many? Wow go for it okay so now we've got beheading five awesome <laughs> I love it beheading five so it's got a 50% chance to take a head and it looks a little cooler in my opinion yeah a little bit okay so I guess the next step is to find Enderman to kill. And that's not going to be so easy. Traditionally, my way of doing it has been to find a desert and to go there at nighttime and uh, just look around for Enderman. And having a air scooter, <laughs> having a little flying Da Vinci's vessel is really good for that because you can just fly all over the desert, not really worry about monsters and uh, you can aggro a whole bunch of Endermen at once and gather them together. Endermen are really easy to see in the desert because they stand out from the sand. But for now, you know, I really, I, I wonder, maybe we should go ahead and go straight towards uh, the Enderman spawner. Since I'm going to be hoping, or at least wanting, Endermen to come along, um, Maybe we should go ahead and try capturing one. Let's see. Soul vial. So it's fused quartz that we're that we're gonna need. Fused 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 quartz. And I think that's just a whole bunch of quartz. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I get turned around in this base more often than I should. So let's see, four for one. Let's go ahead and make about four of these. So we're going to need about 16, 16 quarts. All right. Get you back in alloys mode. Was I wrong? Oh, it only needs three, doesn't it? No, I got it right. I was, I was right all along. Oh, we need more glass than that. Uh, we need three glass per. So we're actually going to use a lot of nether quartz. Let's see. So um, we need tw uh, 
We need 16 total, so we're going to need another 12 glass. Is that right? So 12 times 3 is 36. See, I can math sometimes. Every once in a while I can math just fine. If you're still in school and you're watching this, let me tell you something. You may not think that math is very useful, but try being out of school for a while and not doing real math for a while, and then suddenly you try to do math. It's, it's painful. See, obviously, it's really painful because I just totally screwed that up. Oh, <laughs> why me? So I guess it's four each. I don't know. Ah, let's do another 12. We'll end up using this anyway. Yeah, see, I, I've been out of school long enough, and uh, I've been not doing math long enough that my math is just, it's just not nearly as good as it used to be. Especially since I realized I just screwed up the math again. Yeah, we only needed three per, um, per soul vial. So... If nothing else, appreciate it while you're still able to do math. Because you're not always going to be good at math. Unless you work with it. Okay, so the soul vial. The soul vial lets us capture a mob inside just by right-clicking them. We just right-click them. We've got a mob. And then we can use that to create a spawner that will um, spawn that specific monster. So what time of day is it? What? Where's my sun? I guess the sun's going down. There it is. Okay. So I'm going to run around tonight and try to find an Enderman to capture. And if we can do that, good. That'll be good times. If not, uh, uh, while we're waiting, let's see if there's another way to charge our stuff. At Ender. Oh, I was thinking there was a some kind of a charger in Ender IO. Or maybe the generators have a, a spot you can stick stuff. Ah, it's the capacitors. That's what it was. You can stick stuff in the capacitors. You know what? So we don't have to worry about Enderman right now. Let's go ahead and go straight for these capacitors. Because that's the short answer. Um, redstone. Yeah, that should be enough. So, capacitor bank. Give me four of you. Give me a block. And what was the rest? Was it bars? Four iron. Either way, it takes iron to craft. Okay, basic capacitor bank. Good. Good. And you, Energizer, you should be ashamed of yourself. Can't even charge this stuff. Huh. So, uh, this is where I've been sticking capacitors. Go ahead and stick one here now. Charging up. And... There it goes. It's charging up our equipment. So what are the benefits to having your equipment charged up? Um, part of it is that durability damage that goes against your equipment. Some of that durability damage will be used up by the energy instead. So your, your armor becomes much, much tougher whenever it has energy in it. Um, on top of that, if it has some kind of ability, then that ability will also uh, drain some of the power in it. So, like being able to run faster, which is going to go on our legs, um, as long as I'm running, it's going to drain power. So, that's a good reason to have power and a good reason to have a lot of power. So, Tell you what, 
we're going to need, let's go ahead and get a couple of really useful enhancements on these. I guess we can go ahead and take that back, can't we? Oh wait, that was that was already on me. Um, we're going to need a couple of really useful enhancements. I would like to be able to do, I think it's the speed. I think the speed bonus also gives you step assist. I think that's what it does. Um, either way, I'm going to want to run faster. So we're going to need a potion of swiftness. Oh, I hate this. There's always more than one of them. I think we just need the basic one, which is sugar into an awkward potion. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't think we have any nether wart at all. Uh. Oh, no. I have to go back to the nether. Oh. <laughs> ah, crap. Oh, well. I'm going to have to think about this. Hold on, give me a second to think. Okay, so I just checked on the time, and yeah, yeah, I've gone way, 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 way over, as usual. So I think instead of running off to get Nether Wart, how about we just go ahead and continue to improve the armor a bit? And that should be about the right amount of time before we have to go ahead and cut this episode. This is already going to be the second episode out of two. So, what do we want to add? Um, one thing I'd like to add is flippers, so that next time we're down in the water, we have a little bit better ability to move around. So, to do that, it's going to take, I think, four levels. Four levels. Yep, that and that. Flippers. So is there anything else we want on here? I think I'm probably also going to go ahead and stick the second level of Empowered on them. Um, the more that you the more that you empower them, the better that it does absorbing durability damage into the energy. At least that's how it used to be in 1710. Um, these guys might not take any durability damage. I'll have to test that out. Also, uh, in addition to the flippers, I'd like to have jump. Um, and by the way, just by having these and empowering them, they absorb fall damage. So, yay, no more fall damage. <laughs> That'll be really nice. No more fall damage. Just the little bit of fall damage that you pick up here and there, it can just, it can make you go through food a lot faster than you would normally. And it can dam it can give you just that little bit of damage that's I don't know kind of annoying. So anyway, let's go for jump on this one. That's going to take a piston. Probably more than one level of jump too. So how about we just go ahead and make several pistons? Just give me a stack. How much iron? Just have three iron here. So we'll go ahead and make like four, four pistons. That should be enough of that. Let's see here. Wood transform. There we go. Four pistons. And let's see. When you do different levels on a piece of equipment, uh, excuse me, what I mean is when you add further levels of something to a piece of equipment, usually the next level will take more experience levels. So this one takes four, and then this one will take six. So that's how that works. Um, that kind of makes sense, right? Like you're gaining an even more powerful version of an ability. It makes sense it would cost more. So let's see. Yeah, we can go jump three. 
Oh, how much levels? How many levels? Eight. And you can see how quickly we're using experience now. For example, just on these boots, we used um, 18 levels. And if we had taken those 18 levels off the top of our 45 levels, whatever it was, then we would be close to halfway through our experience. Well, as it is, we've only used like one or two levels doing it this way. So we're doing a good job of saving our um, saving our experience. So that looks like that's the maximum level of jump. Uh, and besides that, we'll just be adding energy to it. We may do the apiary shoes in the future. Not sure. Okay, legs. Speed is the main thing. And then also power. So for now, we're not going to add to that. Dark plate. So, um, I don't think you have to choose. I think you can use Glider and Elytra. Uh, but if I had to choose, I'm probably going to choose... Uh, I'm probably going to choose Elytra. I've actually never used the Elytra because I just stayed in 1.7.10 for so long. Version 1.7 Minecraft. Um, I think overall that that's probably more useful. The main thing about Elytra is that they take durability damage as you use them. But if you put it on here, it's probably just going to use the energy. So you'll get a lot of use out of it. On the other hand, the glider is probably a little more um, stable, you might say. You'll be able to glide from one place to another in a more or less straight line. We'll have to think about this. Yeah, we'll have to think about this. I'm not going to do either one right now. The interesting thing here is the helmet. You can get all kinds of abilities, like Sound Locator. Sound Locator is great when you're mining and you start hearing mob sounds and you kind of want to go find out if that's a cave or maybe it's even a dungeon. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's really good for finding stuff underground. Like, you can hear lava, and you're thinking, Oh, I don't want the, the lava to spill into my cave. Or if you hear water, and you think, Okay, that's definitely a cave. Let's go that way. Anyway, it's really useful for all that. Night vision. Obviously, we're doing night vision, right? Definitely doing night vision, 100%. That'll be awesome next time we're underwater. It'll be awesome in general. So let's see. We actually have a note block. That one that I was so derpy I couldn't figure out how to use. You know, vanilla Minecraft. So let's go ahead and grab four levels and stick that on our helmet. Yes. Oh yes. So now we've got sound location. And there's a hotkey for each of these abilities, so you can toggle them on and off. Um, and I haven't set those yet, so I'll have to set those here in a minute. What else do we have? Solar? So that's, that's okay. That kind of helps you keep your armor charged up. Um, I don't know. I, I'm not sure if I care about it that much at this point. There's a the One Probe upgrade, but we actually already have the One Probe working. That's the little um, window in the top left of the screen right now, telling us Dark Steel Anvil from Ender.io. And that's, I, I guess that is more for people that want a more realistic experience, I guess. Um, you know, like, instead of just looking at something and knowing everything about it, you would have a little device on your helmet that would be telling you. Um, you know, and if that's your play style, that's fine. I think... Uh, I think it actually doesn't make sense in most cases because in the, in the world of Minecraft, you're the guy that's building all of these machines, right? 
you're building it you're the one putting it together so you're the one designing it so why do you need a piece of equipment to tell you what mod an item is from or like what the name of it is if you're the designer you would know you know you're not copying somebody else's blueprints so in that way I think it's totally fine to be able to look at something and tell what it is because not knowing is actually kind of a an artificial game gamey type thing kind of like chunk loading right like when you run away from your house for a while and you come back and your crops haven't grown at all why because well, they weren't chunk loaded chunk loading I think is kind of a gamey thing and it's okay to it's okay to get some kind of benefit like chunk loading or being able to tell what something is by looking at it anyway that's just my opinion um, right now right now I want the night vision we're gonna need to be able to make potions for that which means nether wart nether wart again the other thing was the naturalist's eye naturalist's eye let's see naturalist's eye shows pollinated tree leaves okay yeah I kinda thought that's what that was um, that's a forestry thing so that'll be really good if we decide to get into tree breeding uh, which we might eventually do maybe eventually but for now the naturalist's eye, the apiarist hat, and the one probe, we're just, we're definitely not going to do those. Definitely not. Did that say I have empowered four? Oh, that's, oh, I see. Yeah. That's the, that's the ultimate version in JEI. So how about we go ahead and add the next level of empowered to everything? So we'll need four basic capacitors that's extremely easy to get assuming we have enough gold I think we do okay one two three four how much gold do we need uh... two we need nuggets too right? did we use all of our nuggets yeah it looks like we did all of our gold nuggets just take a Wow. We're going through a lot of redstone. Okay, so capacitor. Capacitor. Basic capacitor. Give me four. And I think these levels are going to cost six each as well. Let's see here. Yeah. So again, it just shows you how much experience you save by doing it this way. Now when you uh, excuse me, when you add a level of empowered, it'll suck all the power that's in there out. So, you know, you'll lose a little bit of power doing that. But really it's it's not that big of a deal. It's usually not enough power to really even care about. Let's see how much is in there right now. A hundred thousand. That's yeah, that's a fair amount actually, but not enough to cry over. So we've only used about what two, two, three levels out of our experience obelisk. I'm gonna cough here for a second. Just to back in a second. Okay cough completed. So the next level of empowered takes a double layer capacitor plus eight levels. We can definitely do the levels. I think a double layer capacitor takes two basics and some energetic. Yeah. And a little bit of coal. <laughs> the coal might actually be the hardest part for us. Uh... <laughs> But we only need four. Surely we can come up with four coal. Four coal. We had a little bit extra from when we made dark steel. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Do we have our energetic over here? 
doesn't look like it. Energetic alloy. I choose you. Uh, that's vibrant. That's energetic. So we need two each, so we need eight. Seems right. Got our redstone. We're going to use a lot of that. I think we're going to need four gold for this. Um, yeah, that sounds about right. And we're going to need eight copper. Eight. You know what? I've probably done some of the math wrong. Let's just go ahead and get it started. Nope. Looks like I did it right for once. Awesome. I was right for once. Eh. You know what I should do? Yeah, I should take ten and then... Well, I should take 10 and then return 2. <laughs> That's a lot easier, isn't it? Let's see. Where am I? Did I just go blind or something? Where are my capacitors? Meh. Where did I put the capacitors I just crafted? I bet they went right here. Yeah. Jerk. That's kind of annoying. I don't know how many times that's happened to me, where I had a chest next to those tables, and it took the results from me. So let's see, take 10, return 2. Is that the one I just did? Yeah, it is. Okay. Take 10, return 2. Um, and again, Doing these is going to take another 32 levels of experience. I know I'm saying the same thing over and over again, but look how little experience we've actually used compared to what we had. Insanity. Okay. Power 3, 3, 3. Just need you. Nice. So for the last one, we're going to need an octatic capacitor. Um, you know, for now, this is probably fine. It'll store 250,000 RF. Wow, it says 70% damage absorbed by power. I thought it did more than that. I guess it's the top level one. The top level one absorbs 85%. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and charge this up. And that's where we're going to finish the episode. The second episode of our two-part series. <laughs> Whatever you want to say. But anyway, we've got some decent armor on us now. I'll make sure to go and get some nether wart in between episodes so we can finish it off and get the really, really useful stuff like uh, step assist and night vision. And once we've got that, we're going to feel pretty good about our ability to get around in a convenient way. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.